We have an amazing new Prodigy update. Pet statistics are finally available. You can now view the updated stats of your pets. As of right now, this is not in the pet book. It is only on the Your Team section. You can probably tell that their hearts don't show up anymore. It's just their element icon and their name. I think that this looks better than with the hearts at the bottom. The icons for all of the new elements can be seen. Shadow, physical, astral, plant, fire, storm, water, ice, all of them. I also feel the need to say that I really, really like the icons. They look extremely cool. So right now, if a pet is on your team, you cannot look at its stats, but you can look at its stats if it is in your pet section, as you can see right now. So this is what the new pet statistics looks like. It is the pet card from when you rescue a pet in one of the beta updates. Here is what each part shows. The strip that is banded over the card shows the pet's rarity. For example, this arctic claw is common, so it says common at the top. In the bottom right there is the element icon, and at the bottom and sides of the card it shows decorations for the specific element. Then here are its stats, maxed out because it is at level 100. It is an ice type, it has 580 health, 790 speed, 470 power, and 460 defense. I believe that the one that confuses the most people is speed. Speed is believed to be what determines the order of turns in a battle. The higher the speed, the faster you will get your turn. Prodigy has not officially come out and said this, but it makes the most sense. Now let's take a look at another type, a fire type. It's the same, except it has the fire background, and of course Ashlet has a bit different stats. I think that these look amazing in general, much better than how it used to be. Now the background will change colors for rarity. This is Deep Sea Fathom, a heroic water pet. It has the water decorations, and the bands around it are purple because of its heroic. And because it is heroic, it has a different colored background. Dark blue and purple. I really like how all of that changes with the rarity of the pet. Arboreal is an example of a rare plant type. The bands are now light blue, like the rare bands usually are, and the background is a mix of dark blue and lighter blue. So this is a new one, the one for physical, and it looks just incredible. I love the color, the designs, everything. Looks amazing. This is a heroic version of physical, and I like it even better with the background. Looks, like, perfect to me. Let's see, we haven't seen a storm one yet. Ah, yes, there it is. That looks great as well. Okay, here's the one for Mimic. It's the new Shadow one, and that looks also just really good. These designs are like, they did a real good job on these. So the ones for Mythical Epics are also able to be seen if you go through here. These are all legendary since all Mythical Epic pets are legendary. Unfortunately there is no yellow orangish background for legendary yet, hopefully that is added soon. But anyway, here is Luna, a legendary shadow. It looks good, really good. Here is a legendary water type. A legendary storm type. A legendary plant type. Aha, this one is going to be new, the astral type. Only Luminite and Luma have it. This is, this is perfect. It, the design is amazing. I like the icon, I like all of it. It looks just perfect as always. I really like how we have astral pets in the game now, and hopefully they will learn astral spells once more are added, and hopefully more astral pets will be added in the future.
What do you think about these amazing new pet card statistics? Do you like that you get to see your pet statistics now? Let me know in the comments.